and welcome back to Rue's Life. So here I am, not in the poly tunnel, but in the new shed. And it's really starting to come together. I'm really, really pleased with it. I will give you a proper look around. There's still a few bits and pieces to do. But what I want to talk about today is I've been on a little shopping spree and I have some goodies. So I'm going to show you what I've bought. So I'm on quite a tight budget. Um, as most of you will know, I am signed off work at the moment, but today is a good day, um, so I really did want to get out and get a few bits and pieces, but I've got to be really mindful of how much I spend. So I've actually been to Poundland, Wilco, Sainsbury's, B&Q and The Range, and they're all within close proximity to each other at uh, two different sort of shopping parks, local to myself. So I've kept the receipt, so let's go through what I have bought. So this wasn't really a budget item, it's just something that I needed. Um, and it's some seaweed plant food. And it's Verve, which is B&Q's own brand. Um, I really like the seaweed fertiliser plant food and I'm running low. So I bought that and that was £4.90, so that wasn't really a budget item, it was more of a, 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 an, a, an essential. So let's pop that down there. And then I bought in Wilco, let me just get the bits and pieces together. So in Wilco I bought two hanging basket brackets which I want to put outside on the shed for some of my geraniums they were two pounds each now they do do them in pound land for a pound <laughs> but they didn't have any in stock so for two pounds each I got these little very basic hanging basket brackets um, I got some baby bio for my house plants which was two pounds and for those of you that may not have used this before it's just a really good plant food and i like to use it on my house plants now this wasn't really an essential but it kind of caught my eye so it, it was a little out of budget but they're so stinking cute and this is a string of 10 b lights and I'll open the box and show you because they're just adorable. They've got batteries included, they are uh, solar power powered, and they were seven pounds. So I say little out of budget, but I uh, just couldn't leave them there. So let's just open the box and I'll show them to you. They are just adorable. So I won't completely get them out, but I'll just stand up and I will show you into the camera. I mean, look at how cute they are and they're going to look so cute in the evenings and I'm going to have them I can't decide whether to have them inside or outside the shed um, but they're just adorable so they were out of my budget but I think it's so good and so restrained and uh, they were a little a little treat so that's Wilco now in Sainsbury's I I did look in B&Q um, because I just wanted, I don't normally buy plug plants, but I've had a bit of a disaster, which you, if you've watched my tour, you will see that the pigeons have decimated my brassicas. So I needed some more cauliflower and Brussels sprouts. And I popped into Sainsbury's just on the off chance, because they do occasionally have, now, they're not the best specimens, and had I been in the right frame of mind, I probably would have asked if I could have a discount on them. Let me just get them out of the bag. So I got a pack of Brussels sprouts and some cauliflower. Uh, the cauliflower are white XL, and the sprouts are brilliant um, and they're not that brilliant as I say I'll just show you they're really not the best specimens 
but I think if I get them into some bigger pots now in the polytunnel um, and water them and maybe give them a little feed, I think I can pull those back. And at least I've got a chance then of actually having some brassicas. Um, I do have some purple sprouting broccoli and some dwarf curly kale plants still in the polytunnel that I haven't put out and I have now got my netting so hopefully I can get them out um, as I say I want to just grow these on a little first and get them a bit more established and then hopefully they will got a chance to go out under that netting um, so they were um, £1.50 each so you know for three quid it, it was worth a punt and as I say if I'd been in the right frame of mind I probably would have gone to customer service and said look these are really dry uh, they're a little bit yellow can you knock something off but you know sometimes it's just not worth the hassle so last of all I went to Poundland let's find my receipt and I got quite a little haul Oh, there are still the two two lots of things in here actually we've got um poundland and uh the range so what shall we start with so i first of all i got three sets of these little plastic pots and um, so there's sort of you know I would say large, it's not particularly large, but one larger and then a medium and a small in there. And I've got three sets of those. So there's one with a green top, one with yellow top, and somewhere lurking about, here they are, one with blue top. And they, oops, if I remember, were a pound each. So three pounds for nine um tubs and they will be for i'm going to store let me just pick that up that calamity jane and um, i'm going to store my seeds i've got some in a tin which you will have seen me use but the others are actually in cardboard boxes i've actually got an old filing cabinet in here so i think in tins and these plastic airtight boxes my seeds should be okay in that filing cabinet i just want to have everything in one place rather than toing and froing back and forth from the house so that is the plan so i say a pound for three and i got three um sets of three so these next item were hardly a, an essential they're these really cute little wooden windmills um i just thought they looked really sweet and also they may do a little job of, of sort of rattling and scaring off the um the pigeons that's that's the theory um in all honesty i think it would take more than a bit more than a little coloured windmill to frighten them away but as i say the netting is going to do the job and they were a pound they're just really cute next i just couldn't resist this cute little wooden pot and that will just do for storing something in i just thought it looked really cute while i've been spritzing the, the shed up. I couldn't resist that. It says rosemary, thyme and basil on it. Um, I could, You could put um, some little pots in there, but I mean, there's not a huge amount of space. It's really just for aesthetic, but it'll be handy for popping bits and pieces in. And that was a pound. I also got some um, citronella incense sticks. I love incense sticks and obviously a bit of citronella keep the bugs away and it it comes with this really cute little dangly dream catcher which I can hang somewhere I, I think you're supposed to oh yes okay so it, it is actually for sticking the um, incense sticks in but I'm going to use it as a dangly um, and I tend to stick my incense sticks in a plant pot so they can go somewhere in here um, and they can keep the flies away when I want to sit in the corner and read a book and they were also a pound so that was pound land and then lastly i popped into the range and i have bought it a half and staple with a padlock to put on the outside of the shed because i i do need to lock it um 
And that was seven pounds forty nine. But as I say, I've started putting things in here now, so I really need to get it secure. So it's just as I say, has some staple with a padlock all in one, and that's seven pounds forty nine. And then something we've been needing for a while, um, there is actually some plastic on the inside of the roof in here, and I need to staple it into place. Um, and the amount of times we've said, oh, I wish I had a staple gun. So I bought this staple gun with a thousand staples in it, heavy duty staple gun, and that was £4.99. So I'm really, really pleased that I've managed get everything that I wanted for about £40. Um, so as I say, in some ways being on statutory sick pay is really quite worrying. So essentials have to come first, paying the bills and so on. But it's actually been quite enjoyable to look around and shop in places I perhaps wouldn't normally shop. And actually going forward, I mean, I do try to be careful and, you know, not have plastic packaging, so on and so forth. But a lot of these things haven't come in plastic packaging. They're not dissimilar to things that I would normally have paid more money for. And although it's been a little less convenient, I've got the time at the moment. And so, you know, it's been quite an enjoyable morning. And what I did is instead of obviously buying a coffee, which is something I would normally do, I had a coffee when in fact I've got a coffee here <laughs> so you know you can I can have my cup of coffee which is what you know you without even thinking I used to spend four or five pounds on a cup of coffee and yet I've been able to get you know five items for the same price in Poundland so I hope you've enjoyed seeing my little budget haul of bits and bobs for my garden shed and the plot and the polytunnel Thank you so much for watching, take care and I'll see you all again soon.